Hey everybody, welcome back to ESL Weekly Cup number 32. We are coming to you now from the Grand Finals, which is going to be between 10 Seconds to Rage and Team Not Lunch. We just saw Not Lunch, or apologies, we just saw 10 Seconds to Rage play against Team Mister and took a 2-0 victory versus that very cheesy composition. They're now going to take on Not Lunch, who I believe just won a rather epic game uh, versus Don't Be a Maybe there in that semifinal that they played over on the German stream. I'm sure they'll have VODs available for you guys a little bit later on over on their YouTube channel over at uh, Guild News. Um, but for us, we are going to be going into the Grand Finals now, so let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it, guys. We do have one of the winners from the Tournament of Legends EU in our midst. Oh, do we? We do. And Mr. who Sizer. is that? Who is that? Mr. Sizer, well, in case some people do not know, playing <laughs> on the red team. Um, we're sporting his legendary, I guess? Or is that the sword I saw, I think? Yes. There you go. He's got the loveliest sword. So he's um, helping out with these guys. Uh, not Lunch, or is what they're called, I think. Um, yeah, Not Lunch is their name. That's it, indeed. Uh, so now they're actually, they've got a good chance of winning the uh, ESL Weekly Cup, which, you know, completely within their grasp, especially and the blue team as well, completely in their grasp. And I think this is going to be a first victory for um, for both these teams. Well, I think this is maybe, uh, I don't know if it's the first time they got into the final. That's maybe stretching it. But maybe the first time either team has actually won the cup. Um, so this is going to be a first, guys. It's just quite exciting to see two new teams in the final as well for, for us, really. And we have a full cup as well. And we haven't even got any of them, like, you know, the big main teams on in this, so we've got quite a lot of good upcoming teams coming. So I'm kind of kind of excited at the moment. This is good Indeed. Stuff. Well, once again, it is going to be a best of three match, as it is with all of our other matches. The first team to get two wins will win the cup. Each player will take home a 2,000 gem card, and our second place teams will take home an 800 gem card, which is nothing to. Uh, well, yeah, it's a difference between like like 25 bucks and. and and 10 bucks so still nice nice yeah. though yeah. nice team let's we'll get some gems and we can get the new i don't know finisher which is you know the replacement for the level 80 rank one but you know we'll, we'll talk about that another time <laughs> well, we are getting started once again with our first game here in the grand final so let us get right to it once again it is going to be not lunch versus 10 seconds to rage gates will be a big up in three seconds we are in the forest of so let's open up our map and jebro go check out the splits voice. As we're coming out in the map, we currently see only one crossover really. Quivo is going to go, he was going to go towards, I think, Henge, but I just saw um, uh, Chosen the Thief on the blue team just coming across there. So he looks like he's going to potentially cross, but we do have two members of the red team just standing as well over at mine. A bit wasted, I think, uh, Milo, you know, they're just a bit worried about the Thief coming over, so he's just pressing one to break the thief out of stealth in case he was stealth but he actually didn't he did see the two man over at the mine and he avoided that completely which was good and he's going to be able to come in to this point straight away look oh sizer almost almost got burst down there but he backed out of that point really well um and then he was able to get back up really really quickly and the f two thieves are on each other like oh my god here at the moment they're just kind of fighting at the bottom of the point just below keep Size is low on HP at the moment, needs to be quite careful and get closer to Kuve, possibly, because Chosen is right on his back there, doing a nice job. Um, and Chosen's just back onto Kuve as well. As just having a look at this, mid, mid fight is really big at the moment. Everything is happening on the uh, kind of north midpoint of this map. No one's really on the side points at all. I think the Red Thief's kind of going back to check um, the mine, who is indeed Sizer, but otherwise everything's cut. Is every, the fight's starting to migrate a little bit over towards the Henge now. And Kuve's coming over to try and get a decap, possibly as the blue warrior, who is indeed fake, is going to be coming over to try and make sure that he's not going to get that decap. But he did get the decap, and Red are currently winning with a win cap, uh, one cap at the moment, by only six points. But that's going to start to go uh, as we as we do see. That's the only cut coming across the map. And the, you know, once again, back over here at the Henge, we do have that bit of a 1v1 going on. That is going to be between who this Kuve, I believe, on, uh, is he playing DD or Snap? Playing DD here at the moment, going up against Fake is AFK. So these two are probably going to whack away at each other for a little bit of time. Nobody will take an absolute victory at any time. Obviously, once again, the Warrior will have a pretty decent amount of on-point uh, harassment, but the range, or apologies, the Ellie as well, will do a pretty decent job of actually uh, mitigating a lot of that. And with the assistance coming in from Sizer now, definitely going to guarantee uh, right team advantage over here at this node. Meanwhile, back in the mid, that's still kind of a toss-up here at the moment. We've got a lot of people coming up. We just saw Cho 
goes in sin. Blue Team Thief getting stomped out there down below once again. But that's 2v2 on the node, and nobody's really low or anything like that, so it really could still go either way. Obviously, once again, though, the mine is sitting pretty in full control for our red team. Just, yeah, Mini looks like he is coming over to Henge, but just, you know, a tiny bit really too late, unfortunately, to save Fake. He's going to be at OK on the point for a little bit of time, but, you know, is, is, he, is he running AH? Yeah, he's running AH, yeah. so he needs, to be, he needs another person really there to get the full effect of that build. And Chosen just got Chosen, burst down yeah. by a mixture of <laughs> Belize there um, and not having a good time. But actually, the rest is coming out now. He might get this. Oh, he did, but now he's going to use his block kill mini and he's going to be able to get back on the point. Now, that was very, very, that was lucky. He did, although he did kind of lost one of the guys on the other side of that wall, so it's quite a nice way to res him there. That was well chosen. Um, if he hadn't done that, he probably would have gone down, but it was a nice move from him. He's probably going to go down quite soon on this point unless he can get some kind of support. And no one actually stayed with him to actually give him that. I think, I mean, I think they kind of gave the all clear there and kind of said, guys, let's get out of here. It's not happening. We can't be really pushing into this. No, they've got superior coverage on it. Let's get out of here. And then they wanted to move that. Th the thief was really the only other one there. That's the thing. So, I mean, the thief could have been the only one to support. And we saw right there the thief just, uh, I, for whatever reason, either yeah, choked or something happened. But he just was unable to do anything once that many red players had gotten to the point. So, he didn't he didn't really have much of an interest in staying in that fight anyway after that, uh, after him getting killed the first time. So, it was a good calculated choice. Obviously, again, losing your bunker guardian is never a good thing. But... Uh, if anything was to happen there, that was probably the best choice as he was able to keep the point uh, decap for a little bit longer. Yeah, very true. Now they've got that two cap coming out as well, and hopefully, you know, the only guy they're missing, they really need to get that bunker guardian over there and AF. But they do have the elementalist who's over here currently, who's he's going to be doing a lot of healing when he's got his five ability on the staff coming back out. He doesn't need to use it just yet. There's not enough people low on his team for him to actually start using that ability but I didn't I'm not sure if he just used it I just did just miss that unfortunately but he's quite low on HP himself he's gonna have the water attunement off cooldown very shortly he needs to try and get back into that if he can he did use that heal before so he's got a bit low now on the utility he's gonna go down there um, as he did have no cooldowns left but they still have the cap um, they still got two guys the two guys jumping on him now to get the res I think they're gonna get it oh they are indeed he's got his heal off cooldown he's gonna be okay for a little bit of time he's doing the right thing putting that block up from the uh, earth there achievement and he's gonna be able to heal and actually jump out the point and do a shed load of AoE um, down just as fate goes down as well so nice job to try and put some damage on the bodies that are going down for that for the finish onto fake but unfortunately not to, not working there um for the elements and the rest of the team so blue even though they're winning they're kind of you know might lose this team fight over at the mine mm -hmm. and as we go back into things once again other nodes are sitting pretty in control by the team blue team has solid control of the middle point as well as team has solid control of the blue team home node we get to see the word just coming in as well not going to go to contest that as once again that is an element so specifically a dd ellie so 1v1 that is going to be a huge pain in the butt so the more than likely they wait until they have better odds and or they'll just leave that in right to control until there's a free cap but the fight itself back over here as you're seeing red team slowly taking control of this node we do a fake rage running the fight from another node but we've also got mini zion being the really only target here going up against four red team targets here third team or third target for the blue team going to come into play here once again though as the thief rejoins the fight in hopes of trying to turn things back around unfortunately though it's slowly falling apart here decap just went off there as well so now each player or each team only has one cap to themselves and as well our, our uh, blue team is or probably our red team is kind of on the path here to slowly take back this point it's difficult. I mean, they've got that decap. That's essential now. Now, Red need to think, is it worth us staying here? We are slowly, you know, they got a big comeback there. And we've got two points. Are we able to get this boss? Now, I think someone's Kuve's going over to Chieftain now to potentially take that boss down. And he's going to be able to take it pretty easy. There's nowhere near the map for him to even think about not getting that boss. So he's yeah. going to be able to secure that boss pretty well. But the problem is with Evil Sue in that situation is he can't really go for the boss. He goes for the actual boss. He's going to be off that point for a long time so the actual advantage is really on the team of red at the moment in the position that they are in unfortunately himba did go down over at the mine side he is completely out of the fight at the moment and this is still this mine fight it's just really um uh, Ingenium's just gone down as well, so it looks like Red really starting to lose people on this point. My, Milo's down almost as well. He's got his block heal off. He's got conditions on him. He's got no any, go, no shouts though to get rid of that burning as well that's coming onto him. But he's still okay, just about hanging on by a just by a Fred just going down there on the point. So they need to stack someone on that point or think about potentially rushing mid. 
um, as well. But he possibly could get rest. I'm not too sure. We'll see. He's going to be able to get that free ability out as well to get the healing up. Oh, he's back up, Blue. He actually got back up. And now the point is now two versus three or four. Is there four members of the red team still on this point? I Jesus think Christ. one of them, him versus Glaf, has moved away. He's heading towards middle now at the moment. But unfortunately, Chosen Sin is right hot on his tail here. Look at that too. Oh, that was oh, that was no. that was that was kind of a dick move in all honesty. <laughs> Went in there, <laughs> poked him with one or two colonies when he was low enough, and then just immediately fell back. Thankfully for him versus Glaf, he did have the two teammates, almost three teammates, waiting around him. So they got him back up into play. Like, man, man, we got you. They got him back up into play, and now they took Chosen Sin. Him down as a revenge for that play there too. Knocking him down once again. They'll knock him out of play. Oh wait, Jones is not dead yet. We got the Guardian coming in for the red. Sizer gonna come in for some more cleave though. Let's see if they're gonna be able to get enough. Sizer not going for a direct stomp. Himbers got gonna come here trying to get something off on a mini sign in order to stop the stomp from happening here too. Ah, uh, there we go. Nice fear going off on a Chosen in. That will prevent the res from happening. He's still going on there. Still trying to get the body up though. Line of warning gonna come down. Gonna kind of screw the mobility up here a little bit. Still going in right now for Milo Kreitz though. It'll connect and finally Chosen Sin will get knocked out of the game. Bloody hell. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the point, interesting there. Ingenium the Odium also got knocked out too on the point because yes. Red Team was so focused on uh, knocking out the Thief target. Yeah, that's the problem there with just going for that damage. The thing is, you know, I mean, they just trying to get that cleave damage and just holding the other guy off point didn't really work for him, unfortunately, there. Um, Red's still, you know, like 20 points ahead, only just. Um, Quivre moved all the way from Henge towards, you know, mine, where you said that he actually got that res off. Um, off to who, so I can't remember who went down there over on that on that side. So I think it was the Necro. Um, but Sizen now trying his luck over at mid, um, but he's not going to be able to actually do that because he's going to get focused. AOE going down on that SR as well. He's going to port towards that mid keep. Um, he's oh, Quiver is actually just come in with the lightning flash. He's actually going to. Oh, almost. We got a lot so of damage close. coming in. Yep, Cluster Rump's coming in. Earthshaker coming in there from the Warrior Hammer combos as well. Kube is going to have to get out of here in a way. At the very least, he's going to have to move off the corpse here. Updraft going to go stop the Warrior from, or apparently stop the Thief from doing damage here for a little bit. But again, Sizer cannot really do much. There you go. Kube is <laughs> leaving the node. And now Sizer is going to get knocked out over there as well. This is uh, not. Yeah, Sizer was in the down state for, I think, 30, like 20, 30 seconds just then. So that wasn't good for him to keep yeah. porting around and like, you know, it was it might have just been better for the Ellie to just say, look, it's not worth it. Because Ingenium's down now over on the um on the <laughs> on the mine node. And Blue really should be getting this cap now. They have literally got the two caps. They're gonna be able to come back into this quite strongly now. And Quivre is just countering that by killing the boss. Now that is a nice position. I can't see it from this from this angle. It's a horrible angle to be in. Oh my good lord. But that's the best place to put him. He's just putting behind the stone, behind the rock. So it's not as obvious for someone to come in and just get a couple of easy shots off. And that's how they're keeping their lead at the moment. Quivre is doing a great job. I think he's got two or three boss kills now um, in this map so far. So he's doing a great job. But let's not forget, that also the time is ticking down on the map. We only have 4 minutes and 40 seconds left. Okay, there's only 114 points left. But if the two points get contested, it could easily start to run out quite quickly. And Lord, boss kills might come up quite quite. I can see you t clicking. I can see it. <laughs> Chosen just kind of nipping over towards the uh, mine point. Chosen, Chosen was actually fighting Sizer for a little bit there too. Or actually, well, Sizer was more kind of aggressing on the Chosen. Chosen was able to sneak away there again by getting over here towards mine. Tried to go over the decap, but again, we obviously did actually have that node already sitting pretty in uh, red team, or blue team control at the time. So, we really need to head over there. But we'll join the fight oh, now no. because we do have that extra harassment coming into play. But check out the other nodes, share about what is going on. Uh, Henge just got decapped, unfortunately, for Red. Now, Kuve got a bit caught out there. I'm not sure how exactly, um, but it, oh, that's really unfortunate because a two cap versus zero at all is really going to be tough um, for them to actually keep back in this. And now, over on the other side of the map, Fake is just Fake is down, Ingenium's down as well, and Sizer and Chosen. Sizer and Chosen, Sizer takes the downing there, gonna go for damage on the Fake, uses uses Cloak and Dagger there to get himself, but we're gonna see, look at this, look at this, he's gonna pop Venge, it's not gonna come into play, Sizer 131 health here, trying to get himself up, he goes into the down state, Chosen Sin, getting res up, and Genie Modem also goes for his Vengeance, we're gonna see Fake's Vengeance expiring in just a second over here, moving over to Fake's point of view now, Vengeance gonna expire one second, can knock his teammate back up, Sizer gets back up, and Genie Modem checking him out here as well, going over to Genie Modem's point of view, it looks like his his vengeance actually got cleansed because of oh that kill. God. And Genie Modi with the lucky break. Vengeance getting cleared. Sizer is back up in play. And Red Team will get control of the mine node. Oh, I've got to check if he's got the trait. 
Yes, he hasn't, has he? Oh, you lucky bugger. He doesn't have it. You are so lucky. Yeah, I was about to say, nobody runs that trait, so he just got really lucky there. so lucky. I bet he's laughing his ass off right now. But look, at they've got mine. They can go for maybe the boss now as well. The only... Oh, the thief's there as well. Don't. Just be careful. You don't need to go for it that badly. They haven't got any caps. He's pulled the boss. Oh, he's seen the thief. He's okay. He's actually moved all the way back now. Thief's going to bail. He's not going to go for it. Um, and they're actually going to move to mid. Now, Red have got them both. They've got the caps on this midpoint, so they've got a bit of an advantage. They are two versus one. Evil Sue's not sure where he's going to go. I think they're going to actually push as well to try and get that decap over on the hinge node as well. Fake is actually dead, so Kuve is possibly going to get this point. Um, Pardon me, Fake is well out of it, actually. Yeah, two versus one over on this point. Snowball is probably going to go down quite soon as well. So another kill is going to be given away, potentially. Um, but the 2v2 has is... now come out with Sizer coming into the point, putting a lot of damage down on Snowball. He's able to get ASR down and potentially go for that res, but he's not going to be able to get it because there's too much AoE coming down. Milo is also just that rotation is a really good one, dude. Seriously, he was the best one to come into that point at that time. And he's going to be able to get his teammate up. Kuve is back up. Oh, and he's completely changed now, because the hold bunker on. has moved on. We've got, we've got some stuff happening here. Now, keep in mind, we're still very close to the game. Minute and 45 seconds left as well. Not Launch has the lead with that one capture point. But look at this. Blue team going for Spawner here at the moment. Evil Sue. Keep in mind, Evil Sue is in a bad spot here, though, because this is blue red team territory. Mm -hmm. And Genium does see he's going to come over try to kill Spawner. Spawner's sitting about 50% health. This boss could make the game here at the moment. And Genium coming in, wants to try and get the kill, waiting for the pro opportunity moment to go in there with an Earth Shaker and try to knock it out. Evil Sue as well, waiting here, does go in with the Earth does oh, not connect it. properly, and it's coming on a blue team. They're gonna get that, but it's tied up. Red team will immediately get that lead back under their map. And we're gonna see Kuve coming in for this poor kits on the note. Stop <laughs> the decap from happening now. As Chosen Sin is on immediately immobilizing, going for damage on the Chosen Sin. Excellent security and really awesome rotations there by Not Launch. They're gonna secure that, and they might have just secured the game with that play. Excellent play from Box indeed. Back on mid though, Red team is about to One. capture that as well. Zion is there. Red team's in 90 now. points. Blue oh, no. team not going for that lord kill or apologies that boss kills and as such that is pretty much going to guarantee a not uh, apologies a not lunch victory here oh, God with very very good rotationary play at the end of the game and as well good security that's, so that's again close. if they went for the lord now 99 points almost mm -mm. you know that was close dude. Like that. that was really a little bit too late actually. though unfortunately oh they killed they, they got one kill a little bit earlier they could have just rushed the Lord just for a chance and it would have just been a luck thing. I really feel sorry for uh, Mini Zion actually because he did such a good job. Literally one cap point away from them capping that midpoint um, red and he held it for so damn long. But unfortunately, you know, he wasn't in the right place um, at the time and on the map to actually help the rest of his team. It's unfortunate for them, but it was a really tight game. Really could have gone anyone's way to be honest at the end there. Alright guys, well, that is going to give Not Launch one point out of the two points they do need to move on, or rather to win the tournament today. Mm -hmm. We are moving on to our second game now, which could be our last map. As usual, it is going to be on Legacy of the Faux Fire. So, with our teams joining up, we are going to have to wait and see who is going to take it. Will we be seeing 10 seconds to rage, make a comeback, and take the game back under their wing in time set of 1-1? Or, will we see a clean sweep from Not Launch and take a 2-0? Let's go into the game and find out as we will be getting started in just a few moments. Red team is the uh, pretty much almost full human team as well, as I just noticed. <laughs> oh god, apart from the one little dude in Genium who did a really good job earlier, actually. Now the teams, they've both got... They've got mo they've got two... They've got Thief on each team, which is really... Of course, that's going to help them in this map. They both... They held both the side note, opposite side nodes as well for pretty much the entire game and mid flips a little bit here and there. But, you know, I think... Um, I don't know what, what the split is going to be here. I mean, on this map especially, and just looking at the teams and who they've got, um, Blue are going to have to bunker down a little bit more, I think, than the red team. I think the red team are going to be slightly more offensive. With Sizer, he's probably going to look for those back caps. But, you know, he always goes for the back caps of the opposite team. But they had the cap pretty much the whole the whole, the whole actual game. And so what he normally does, what, you know, he couldn't do that. He had to go around the rest of the map and support the team fights and stuff. And when 
you're in a new you're in a new team. I mean, these guys are. I don't know how much the other guys play together as well. You know, so there's that factor that kind of comes in. So little mistakes are happening all over the map, and you, we saw it in that last game. You know, it's anyone's game. I think, especially on this map with these team comps. Um, I'm not sure what you think. Um, in, in general, just looking at the teams, I think red team has the advantage. I mean, um, in general, mm. from what we've seen so far, I think they got a stronger roster. You can take a look at them again. You've got a team. Again, I think I think just in general, red team has played together more too in the past. Whereas this <laughs> week, I think ten seconds to rage is. Um, and again, please correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I, aren't they? This this is kind of a toss together on blue side this week, isn't it? Or have they been playing under this roster for a few weeks now? Um. I couple of them obviously uh you know we've got fake who's i think it's just fake who's the newer guy so they have yeah, been the, together the other guys have been i'm not sure maybe different builds a little bit i'm yeah. not 100 uh, uh, sure it, it, is, it just feels in, in general to me from what we saw in game one and just in general from what i know about these players um it just seems to me like red team just has stronger team mechanics down like stronger team blame one on like they seem to you know just know each other a little better whether that happens to be a better communication or if they've been you know just the the the, the, the vast majority of the red team has been grouped together for longer i think that's coming into play pretty largely here and is allowing them to pull off a couple awesome things in the team fights but obviously again legacy is the map where we oh, do see some awesome. kind of some things that we wouldn't normally expect to see happen well, in terms of, you know, we saw that one week, for instance, Cheese Mode, well, this, is, this is eons ago, by the way, Cheese Mode uh, lost mm. that huge game to ESL. We've seen stuff like that happen in the past, and we can definitely see it here again. So let's wait and see. And again, well, it's still a very close game, so it can go either team's favor. It's going to be not launched versus 10 seconds to rage, guys. Gates have opened up, so let's see who's going to take it. Jesus, you just remi reminded me of a team I haven't seen for a while, actually. Um, <laughs> but anyway, having a look at the splits, we're going to see... Ah, so we're going to see Fake and we're going to see the Thieves. So this is what they did against uh, Team Mister in the first game. The Fake's going to continue to come now, towards this look, point. But look at Waterfall. Sure. Waterfall is not doing good at the moment here. Snowball Ooh. got engaged on I don't think he was expecting a double push to come to that node. Now, we do have Evil So and Charles and Sin coming in, but again, Snowball has taken a lot of damage. Actually, Sno Snowball, despite taking that damage, has survived by quite a bit. And he's only used two out of three of his utilities here, so he's all right. And I, I wasn't expecting, like, that big of a pullback from the blue team. They really hustled back to that point and i don't really think red team kind of counted on that either so good 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 very good very good recovery by the blue team there uh falling back and assisting with that note i was not expecting that quick of a recovery i was kind of expecting red team to kind of zerk through that almost it's almost like you know they're saying like let's find out where sizer is when sizer's engaged in the fight send chosen to sizer because sizer was fully focused on like the members of the blue team he's like he is now he's focused on evil sue sue's just gone down i'm not sure he's going to get the rest really because the only person here to do it is chosen but sizer look he's gone down just from that focus down onto chosen whether or not, i think he's going to go for the down he's got the sr down but he's you know there's no oh, i needed to put some damage something down there um, and now he's going to come yeah. out and that would have been that was that was sin's mistake right there. That was sin's mistake. Like we were saying, he went for the he went for the stomp instead of the res, and unfortunately, because there was no corpse cleave, Kuve was able to get a nice and easy res up into play. And because he didn't res his own teammate, he got gimped very quickly by Sizer. After he got himself back up. Unfortunately, just literally like the wrong decision, and the two cap fully coming out for a red now. Really, just going for it. Look at Kuve already going for the gate, just in preparation, smacking it down with the great sword, the great fiery sword there. And uh, they're gonna, they're gonna. I think you know they've come out into this game bloody strong, and we said the actual team setup has kind of favoured them here. Now, Chosen did a good job on Sizer, I just literally a mistake, which would which just cost them the point. Chosen's come back in for a bit of revenge by the looks of things, um, as the two players from Blue have come over to Quarry, uh, Waterfall, sorry, to try and get that cap and secure that point. But over at mid, Mini, Mini, oh God, he's having a bit of trouble at the mid. He was quite low on HP, Sizer's trying to get some focus damage on him. Um, but two versus two over here, Sizer now switching over towards the quarry node. Sizer is all over this map today, Jesus. Indeed. And he's trying to help him as soon as he possibly can. He's in a lot of trouble as well. But I think Sizer's just doing a good job. These thieves today, and me, I'll tell you, they're doing a really good job on all these teams. Yeah, the Thieves have been doing very good. Thief, very crucial part of the team. So I mean, they, they got to do well. <laughs> Otherwise, again, team's gonna team team is or Thief is probably one of the most crucial roles in the team. Uh, compared to maybe oh, only like yes. Guardian. It's if they, if your Thief's not doing the good job, um, then it's, your team is gonna be in a very bad spot indeed. Especially these guys. I mean, Sizer obviously. Yeah. You know, he's like one of the best. Well, but I mean, the, the thing is, the thing of, is, like, is again, chosen. is with the Thief, the Thief is your like okay, not. Okay, 
least like, you know, 90% of the time, the thief is your back caps. The thief is your spike burst. So if you're missing that, then you're not going to win team fights, or you're not going to have enough push to win a lot of team fights, and you're almost never going to get sneaky back caps. So it just takes a lot out of the team if your thief is either A, not doing those things, or B, is just non existent. Mm -hmm. This is not looking um, as tank. Well, if it started to get. There's not really a lot of caps coming out, but you know, red of blue haven't even scored a point yet. Yeah, I actually just noticed that myself. I was like, <laughs> I thought this game was a lot closer, but apparently not. But red team at the moment, not lunch, really controlling the map here. Obviously, as we can see by the zero points that our blue team currently has, with uh, not lunch being up 125 points so far in this game. Now, over here at the quarry, we do have Himber's Glove getting quite low. Sizer is going to have to try and save his own teammate, but that's probably not going to. Oh no, SR does come in. We didn't see Himber's Glove use an ability, so he's going to stay in stealth for the time being. Again, Sizer looks like he's actually going to bail out on this, though. Good call, in my opinion, again. Mm -hmm. A little bit too much AoE in the fight. The staff elementalist is going to be a little bit too much trouble for them to handle, so we're just going to piece up mini Zion as well. It will be too much support for them to handle, so Zion's are just going to leave that point. We'll allow Himmer's Glaf to die, though, and just, will you know, scratch off the wasted cooldown there on uh, Shadow Refuge again. It's not too long. It's only a 60 second cooldown, and I'll be able to use that again probably at some point when the next fight he'll need that for. Who is actually out. Uh, just watching Sizer as well as he raced across the map. He kind of got onto Chosen and then Chosen put down the SR to escape. Um, and Sizer wasn't able to finish him and he's actually just moved all the way back into mid. Not knowing that Chosen is actually still hanging around over Warfare. I think he's going to stay patient fairly and um, to see if he can take out Kuvo. But I think he's actually move, moving back towards the mid, mid now to see if he can maybe get that focus back onto Sizer. So I'm just having a look on Chosen as he's coming back into a point somewhere. Here we go. He's just on the point actually. Not in a position really he needs to try and back out and be a little bit more sneaky um and he did get that torment bit oh god it almost went down there that was close just by size look size on him now he's, he's switched he's turned the tides man but he's trying to get back on him as soon as possible just using that heal as well to try and get out of that fight and we've got a little bit of range coming in from evil soon no pressure coming down and that's what's chosen actually sin. helped to take down sizer as well on the midpoint nice job chosen sin actually kind of wrecking house here at the moment managed to get that nice spike off on a sizer unfortunately the rest of his team though or actually we did see sizer get back how did sizer actually get back up there he uh, was there because no one died on the blue 100%. team percent sure i think it was just a there's no speed res <laughs> how did he get up <laughs> i'm like I don't, there's no res utilities though, at least I don't think there is. I think they just, you know, they just no. hard rest him. They Did just they? rest him. Yeah. It didn't look Must like it. <laughs> Right. Must have been. I don't know. Didn't look like it. Anyway, back into the fray. <laughs> we do see him versus being the main target for Blue Team. He will fall prey to that Milo Kraita coming in for a res here at the moment, and he's actually going to bail off the body to prevent Corpse Cleave again. He's much more focused on holding on to the middle node here, as once again, this is Legacy. It's very easy to hold on to this node. Obviously, though, if you do die to a Corpse Cleave, you won't be able to hold on to that node for very long. So he's going to pull out the body, let his Necromancer die, and instead keep him own, keep his self alive so that they can keep the three cap rolling, and again, keep themselves pushing closer and closer to a uh, win here and we actually unfortunately have a disconnect on the side of the blue team uh, yeah we do i think yeah. uh there's been a gg called i think snowball actually called it and just yeah left the game. snowball said gg in map chat and then left the game so i believe we can game end if they wish to do so <laughs> that's unfortunate for that guy hopefully i mean he's back in the game now actually uh, he has just changed into... No, he, can't. he had an issue. I think he just uh, just went out of the game very, very quickly. I'm glad he came back. <laughs> I think he just actually died rather than... He just died just as he said GG. So it looked like he DC'd, but he didn't. I don't, yeah, that's a, I don't know if it was a DC or not, because he did I'm say GG. Sure. Anyway, let's Maybe not hamper on it. Because he realized what I was about to say. <laughs> Regardless... Um, the game will still be continuing on more than likely here, but Red Team obviously has a very large lead and more than likely is on the path to take this game and the tournament as well, so very strong indeed. We do still have Fake hanging out over here the blue side, but again, considering that, Quarry will probably stay in Red Team Patrol because it is a 2v1 at the moment. Meanwhile, back at the Waterfall, this is probably the closest fight we do have. It is a, I believe it's a 2v2 at the moment here. We do have Chosen Sin moving away, though. He's actually chasing Snowball back over here to mid. They've only got Ingenium Odium on mid, so Blue Team's going to use this as an opportunity to try and steal away the midpoint here. They may be able to accomplish this, but again, they've got to move quickly, and unfortunately, this Endure Pain is slowing them down by quite a bit, but second that expires very quickly going to knock them out. Unfortunately, they weren't able to knock them out fast enough to the point where they would have actually de-kept the point. Milo Kreita is now on node, and once again, we'll be bunkering for the red team here at the middle. Yeah, this 
It's gone, unfortunately for them. I mean, he's at the moment, Milo Kroos, he's in a lot of trouble at, at the midpoint. He's got the support of Sizer, but the red team, they've got this game. They're really on the wrong node at the moment, the blue guys. I'm not sure if they're just trying to engage for a team fight to see how they do, because they know they've lost, but you shouldn't be going for red. You shouldn't be go yeah. for, going for red. You shouldn't be... in if. If you're in chat at the moment, you're in Twitch, and you're in this situation when you get a free cap, then ignore the score. If you get in free caps, and don't go for mid because it's too big. There's too much. It's too easy. Well, to I mean, back the point. I, I think. I think at this point, it's more just. Yeah, yeah. I'm just as yeah. an example. <laughs> um, I wouldn't go for mid just because. Uh, if you're in like team queue or something like that or solo queue and people just keep running into mid and you're like, dude, why are you running into mid? And just let him do it because don't join him. <laughs> <laughs> just let him go for it let him fly he's gonna die um because this point is so massive you, you get knockbacks you're gonna get you're not gonna be able to get the actual cap off him it's too tough to go for those side nodes try and bunker it get the one cap and then try and move on from there um but you know i mean this game was won very early on kind of almost at 100 points when they got when they reached 100 points to zero for blue you knew they weren't going to come back all right guys so with that said red team not lunch is going to win esl weekly cup number 32 congratulations to milo kreita kuve sizer ingenium odium and himbris glamp for taking the day's cup there he's going to walk in with a 2000 gem code code and as well nice. we're going to be seeing 10 seconds rage take second place it's going to be mini zion chosen sin evil sue snowball and fake is afk each of those players will be going home with 800 gems tonight so once again guys that is the end of our cup thank you all very much for tuning into esl weekly cup number 32 please keep in mind there are multiple events happening throughout the week on this channel i believe six events on a weekly basis at the moment on this channel assuming they do happen that is um we do have the 2v2 cups always happen on tuesday we actually have this to a set schedule now so tuesdays that's 2v2 day wednesdays that 3v3 day and Thursdays is conquest day so again all the times the EU versions of all cups happen at 2 p.m. Eastern 20 Central European summertime the 3v3 version or well yeah the EU version happen at 2 p.m. Eastern 20 Central European summer and the North American version of all cups happen on um, happen at 8 p.m. Eastern 5 p.m. Pacific every day Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday signups are down below for each cup if they are if they do have open signups uh, ESLs as well ESL will do the 2v2 and conquest cup EU version, obviously. Um, those signups can be found over on the ESL portal over at uh, ESL.eu slash EU slash Guild Wars 2. And as well, the Miss PD signups happen over on Battlefy. And there is a master post over on the PvP events forum that has links to all those that will be updated every Saturday or Sunday night. Um, but again, just as a reminder, the Miss PD Weekly Cup will be happening in about three hours. So make sure you guys are tuning in for that as well. That'll be happening right here on this channel, as do all the events. And yeah, I believe that is about it. Make sure you do follow the Twitter down below for updates on whenever the channel is going live. Uh, same thing, the U VODs for today will be uploaded to the Miss PD YouTube over at youtube.com slash Miss PD. We'll have those up probably by Sunday night. Um, and as well, that is about it for me. Jebro, go ahead and uh, plug your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff to plug, man. Um, I'm actually doing an interview with uh, 55 HP Monks, guys, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Uh, European CEST -E time on my stream at uh, www.twitch.tv slash Jebro Unity. I will put it in the chat as well in a moment. So I'll be interviewing those guys. I interviewed Boone and also TCG. Um, four or five guys from uh, 55 HP Monks. So come and check that out. If you want to get to know them, you might be able to see them. You might be able to hear them. And you can ask them some questions as well. So come and have a look at that. Also, I'll be doing some uh, random streaming as well. Uh, make sure you check out my youtube.com slash Unity Jebro channel as well as my Twitter at JebDan. And you'll get all the information there on me um and we'll see you next week for more esl all right guys good yep. job guys that's about it so once again if you cannot join us for any of the other events happening throughout the week we hope you will join us next week at esl weekly cup number 33 have a good evening guys and we'll see you next time